administration expanding temporary protected status to hundreds of thousands of Venezuelans already in the U.S. And local tenants Hatzel Vela is live with reaction from expatriates living right here in South Florida. Hatzel. That's right, Christy. In fact, we just spoke with the young man who's going to be benefiting from TPS. He says he and hundreds of thousands of other Venezuelans are breathing a sigh of relief. Siempre existen los nervios de, lo, de las deportaciones. Sigmund Garcia talks about the looming fears of being deported. He came from Venezuela about a year ago. Podemos por lo menos contar con algún permiso de trabajo para que la gente pueda trabajar. Tells us he can now work legally and get ahead. Venezuelans like him already physically in the U.S. are being granted temporary legal status. The Biden administration says this applies to an estimated 472,000 Venezuelans who arrived in the country as of July 31st. This means that these people would not get deported. Miami-based immigration attorney Rachel Leon says she's been flooded with calls from her clients. The move from the White House also makes it easier for these immigrants to work. A lot of them are professionals that can obtain a better quality job with the workers' permit. This TPS recognizes that Venezuela is a country in chaos. Immigration attorney Willie Allen says granting this protected status also alleviates an already backlogged immigration court system. I mean, the priority of the immigration court right now should be to deport criminal aliens. Immigration continues to be a political liability for the Biden administration. Just yesterday, along the border in the city of Eagle Pass, Texas, local authorities announced a state of emergency. The sheriff there reports close to 6,000 migrants have crossed since Tuesday. And so let's remember this is only temporary, meaning a future president could reverse course. For now, reporting live from the city of Miami, I'm Hatsavala, Local 10 News.